I just have one question. This will be edited, right? Yeah. All right, awesome. Just making sure. Kyle has a tendency of asking spicy questions. What? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Captain Kickback featuring Kyle. This time, we've got one of your favorites on cam. It's S4 No Tail Insania Seneco. You ready? Okay, cool. Glad you're enthusiastic about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> I can't do this seriously because he's. <laughs> um, now, my first question this is something a lot of people at home were writing in about. Are you wearing pants? Nope. Not wearing pants. Really? Nope. I am not wearing pants. That's why you can only see the top part of my body. Uh, no, I'm not, <laughs> actually. What does it mean? I don't understand. Do you have pants on? Oh, yeah, I have it. I'm at home, man. Why would I wear pants? <laughs> just just believe me. Just take my words for it. We don't have to... Uh... <laughs> don't need evidence. I, I took the opportunity to not wear pants. Uh, that's that's kind of weird, but yeah. So if you could take any series back in your career and get another shot at it, what would it be? Oh, any series back. Then it would be the Star Ladder series, Team Secret vs. EG. The best of five where we went to five games uh just the game five we had so many buttons we could have clicked just slightly better and we would have won that game uh that thing haunted me although now of course today i wouldn't change a thing but just for the sake of it if i could change it and still have everything happen the way it happened then i would still go back and do that one there's too many <laughs> honestly i'm not that kind of player that lives in the past i'm not one to remember old games too much i know other players they rem they they keep remembering the old games. I, I, I wouldn't change anything. Nothing. Even if you went all the way back to 2010, Dreamhack Winter, you're playing Pharaoh safe lane against <laughs> Fresh Pro's Valkyrie, and he absolutely <laughs> dumpstered you. You don't have any thoughts? You know what happened? What happened? So here he's playing Mirana, yeah. right? He's playing Mirana. I'm playing a Broken Hero. You're playing Clockwork. Uh, so what was happening is you have the Clock Rocket, right? So I was looking around the map for a rocket on side lanes. And then I get arrowed when I look at other, other in the minimap, and when I look at other lanes, he just arrowed me randomly, and then I just like solo died to Trixie. I was gonna, <laughs> you know, you say you don't live in the past, but obviously you still have that encyclopedic memory of like any game, right? You're one of the the stickiest rosters we've seen in Dota. You've been together now for more than two years. I feel like it gives you a different perspective on who else in the scene is valuable. So who who would you say is the most underrated player? You can't name anyone from your team, of course, that you're constantly competing against and just thinking, damn, this guy's good. Univer, I'm just kidding. Uh, Soneko from NIP. I think that guy is like, in my opinion, one of the toughest supports to play against. He's like an extremely strong laner. He has a really good read of the ward game. Like in terms of like what a five should do, I feel like he's amazing. I have no idea how he's like as a captain or whatever, but I know whatever team he's on is always like a struggle to play against. And you never have like these like quote unquote free games against them. It's just always hard. You really have to put in the prep work and get ready. So I think he's probably one of the most underrated players in the world. He said you were in his opinion, the best, if not one of the best supports. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And you're, I, I, you know, you like him. But my question is, how good do you think Insania is? Or should he be watching more of your replays to get with it? He's also the best player. I think it was a joke from him. But anyway, we have just a good, uh, we, it's just like after games, we always talk to each, each other. Uh, like with him, with uh, some other players from his uh, roster. It's like we have a good, uh, Friendship. If you were any Disney character from an animated film, who would you be and why? I really like the Robin Hood one. I really like the fox. That always spoke to me as a kid. Uh, you know, it's like friends over finances, all that. I mean, what's important in life. Um, I also like uh, Baloo from the Jungle Book. You know the Jungle Book? That's a good one. I like the Baloo guy. We were talking with a different captain who also really liked Baloo. Can you guess who it was? It's a puppy. No. No. <laughs> it's a very short list. Oh, yeah, of course. It's no tell. I love the Baloo. He's chill, you know? Pumbaa and Timon from The Lion King. They're they're extremely chill, too. Uh, yeah, I, I love all the chill characters. The ones that have like these very nice, simple values in life. Um, the bare necessities, you know? Got you. Well, I hope to be able to sing that song with you at karaoke sometime soon. Yeah. And that's it for a cap... For... Blah, 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 blah. Cap, blah, blah, blah. Captain Kickback, presented by Kitback. Back to another... <coughs> sorry, sorry. This was a Captain Kickback uh, with Kyle. Until next time, guys, we'll see you around. <laughs>